Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft's Way for presentations and newsletter. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using Microsoft Sway here. Well, Microsoft Way, uh, Sway here is a great platform or a great tool here that actually creates you, uh, allows you to create beautiful presentations. Now, how do we get started? Well, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to the official website, which is going to be sway.cloud.microsoft. Now, from then on, you want to go and log in into your Microsoft account. And once in here, we have three options on, on basically creating our presentation. Now, in this case, you have the create new option, which allows you to create a new presentation, which in this case, you'll be starting from scratch. Now, if you choose the option for start from topic, you have the option to basically just type any topic here and it will actually automatically give you details based on the internet. So in this case, you can basically get an outline for a specific topic that you want. And the great thing about this one, it is powered by Wikipedia, which is a well-known platform for information. Now, also, you can start from a document, which in this case allows you to basically start from a document you already have. Like, for example, if you have a um, specific book or specific presentation that you want to base from. Now, in this case, you're going to select the file here from your computer and basically start creating or generating your presentation. But maybe I want to start using the start from topic here. Now, from here, let's go and start, start typing, typing in our topic. So, for example, let's just type in docs. Now, from here, it should allow us to create outline here. And in this case, if you don't see or it says we can't find information about that topic, you can go and choose another keyword that you might want to use here. It's going to start creating or in this case, creating a topic about dog. Now, we've just generated our content here. So how do we start designing? How do we start adding titles and information here? Well, in this case, the first thing that we need to understand here is information is categorized or in this case grouped by cards. So depending on the card that you add here, you'll be able to basically add text, add text with images, or even add a collection or a gallery of images. So just to give you an example, this is a uh, typical uh, card that we see here. It has a background image as well as a text. Now, if you click on the plus button here or anything that is in between these cards here, this allows you to basically start adding a card. Now, in this case, maybe we want to add a card between these two cards that we have right now. Let's go and click on the plus button. Now, we have the following options. So first is the text. This allows us to add a heading or just a text. Now, the difference within, between these two is the heading is more an emphasized version, which in this case, a larger text, more than the text or versus the ordinary text here. Now, media allows you to add images like embedded uh, images or any embedded uh, code. Like, for example, if you want to integrate a specific widget on your presentation, you can also add it in here. Now, you could also upload your own. So if you choose upload here, this actually allows you to upload like, uh, for example, some files here or in this case, images if you want to. Now, you could also use the option for a group, which allows you to add like automatic grouping, grid, comparison, stack, or even slideshow. Now, depending on what you need here, you can just basically start adding whatever type of card that you need. So just give you an uh, example and just some uh, description here. This is what you typically see in a presentation. So this next card that you see here is just a text card, which allows you to basically just add a text. Now, the thing with cards here is they have different properties that you could change. Like for example, for this text one, this allows you to basically choose a heading if you want to change it to a heading. By the way, you could also press on control Z to revert changes if you want to, which is something really handy just in case you don't want to do or you want to reverse what you just did. Now you also have the option to emphasize and make your text stand out here. So for example, if you want to unemphasize this one, you could go and just highlight the whole thing here click on emphasize and that would actually remove that. But then again, since this is text here, let's go ahead and emphasize this one. Now, in this case, you could also click on accent, which in this case makes an accent design into your text. So this is an example. Maybe I want to say this is a suede that was started using auto-generated content. Let's go and choose this one and let's go and click on accent. Now it's now in a uh, accent way or italic if you are, if you want to be specific about it. Now you could also make bullets on text. Like for example, let's go and add a bullet here and we want to unemphasize this. For example, we want to say this is an example. 
And from here, let's go ahead and maybe add a link. So let's go ahead and add a link here. So let's just say this is a sample link. And maybe we want to link this to, for example, google.com. And from here, let's go ahead and click on OK. Now, next is we have our text card here. The same thing with this one, you can basically change a few things, but this one is a lot more simple. Now, if you want to choose this one, it, make it, makes, it makes it a lot bigger if you're going to uh, want to be a lot bigger. But if you want to send it on this card to be subtle, you can go and choose subtle here. Now, by the way, if you want to delete a specific card, you could go and choose the delete this card from your sway here, and that would actually be removed. Now, next is we have our, uh, for example, we have this one. So this is a stack, which allows you to basically stack information in one slide. So for example, we have our heading card here. We have our text card and another text card here. Now, by the way, same thing with the text card here. In the heading card, you have the option to do emphasis, accent, add links, but it has the uh, functionality that allows you to add images. So for example, maybe I want to say, I want to add an image here for wolves. Let's go and choose wolves here. So the great thing about adding images here is you can actually add images on the net. So maybe I want to use this one. Let's go and choose it. Click on add. And we should, we, we should now have an image. Let's go and close this one. Now, from here, we could go ahead and add other sections here if you want. So for example, let's go and select the last uh, card here. Click on the plus button. And same thing, it, uh, it actually allows you to add, like for example, text, media, or even groups if you want to add further groups. Now, in this case, same thing. We have our uh, different groupings here or our stack. So just give you some, uh, another example here is let's go ahead and add a different one. Let's go ahead and add, click on the between, in-betweens here. And maybe now I want to add a, let's just say I want to add a group here. Now, in this case, maybe I want to add a comparison. Let's go ahead and choose this one. Let's go ahead and add an image here. And we want to click on image. And maybe we want to look for a bug and basically start searching for it. Now from here, let's go and choose this image here and click on add. Now let's go add this image here. And maybe I wanna go ahead and basically, let's go delete this one, let's go add image. Let's go add image here and let's go and choose this one. And maybe you wanna search for, uh, let's just say a wolf again and search for it. Now from here, let's go and choose a different one. So maybe I wanna use this one and click on add. In this case, uh, this allows you to uh, basically add the section for it. And by the way, you can move this around by pressing and holding on the body of that card. So as you can see, I can move this inside the comparison if, instead of just moving it or using it at the outside, which is something really cool that Sway here has, full, or has given us. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start adding whatever information here, depending on what you need. Like what we did, we just did heading, text, image, stack. And in this case, if you want to upload some files here, let's just give an example here. So maybe I want to add a specific uh, PDF. Let's go and click open here. Let's add our PDF, as you can see right now. Now, maybe I want to put this outside here. So let's go ahead and move it outside. But I think I can move it. So. Let's move it somewhere here. I can move it in here. So yeah. So by the way, if you want to mis minimize a specific uh, stack here, you can go ahead and minimize them. As you can see, it will be uh, reduced to that one. Now, in this case, maybe I want to add a different one. So maybe I want to add a group here. And instead of a stack here, maybe I want to add a slideshow. Let's go ahead and start adding our images here. So let's just start typing in dog here and maybe searching for dogs. And maybe I want to use this one, let's go and click on add and add a different one, maybe image again, use this one, click on add and add another one. Maybe choose this one, this one, image, and maybe choose this one, click on add. And yeah, so maybe we are good with this one. By the way, you could add like text if you want to, same thing what we did. But since we are okay with this design here, let's go ahead and proceed on basically viewing our design or our sway here. So in this case, you can go ahead and click on design and it'll give you the look of your sway, which is something really cool here. It will automatically add the uh, look the, or the design for your presentation. Now, by the way, you could choose from different style, styles by clicking on the style option at the top right here and choosing whatever you want. So for example, we want to change our update for this one. 
you can just basically start using that as you can see right now now in this case you could go ahead and choose either a horizontal style here which is in this case it will present your information here in horizontal style we also have slides here which in this case presents your information in slides so maybe i want to use horizontal here and maybe i want to start using this specific design here for this one here let's go ahead and cl close this one now the great thing about this one is since we are now in design it allows you to focus on design now in this case if you click on a specific text here as you can see i could change the text like i could uh, basically edit the text i could add emphasis moderate or sub uh, subtle if you want now you can even delete content if you want to now if you want to go to the next slide here this allows you to add focus points so if you click on focus points this allows you to basically uh, see or what is or in this case choose what is the focus point of your image maybe i want to use this one and we are good with this one let's go and close it as you can see right now now next let's go to the next page in this case we now have a comparison if you click on the comparison comparison option here this allows you to choose the focus point if you want to if you choose this one it allows you to choose your focus point so in this case this allows you to basically start editing or editing the look of your uh, presentation now if you want to start shedding this or playing it you can go and click on play and basically start uh, playing the your presentation start viewing it if you want you can even edit it again, even share this to your friends or your uh, co-workers or your teammates. Now you could basically share the following links here or even uh, basically e uh, invite them either via view or edit option. Now you could also get the visual link if you want to share this via Facebook, Twitter or X or in LinkedIn. You could also get the get embedded code option here if you have a website and basically integrating it, integrating it into your website. Now in this case, that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.